All right, so let's look at some integrated rate laws. So if you're thinking integrated rate law sounds a lot like calculus, you're right, but we don't have to use um, calculus. I'm not gonna make you do calculus. It's not a prereq for this class. We're gonna use the results of calculus. So let's first look at a first order reaction. So first order overall means, this is the rate law, right? Rate equals K times A. You can even put a one there. Um, and remember rate is the change in concentration over the change in time. There's a negative there because this is a reactant, right? So suppose you had a reaction, you know, A going to be something like that. Um, so the way you go from, from here to here is you have to integrate both sides. That's the magic calculus. And this is the result of calculus. Uh, you can use some log rules to separate the log here. So you end up with like natural log of A at some time minus the natural log of A initial equals negative K times T and then add this over here on this side and you end up with this equation. And this is the one we're gonna use. This is the form we're gonna use it in. Um, so what do all these things mean? A at some time, A sub T just means A at some time. It's talking about a concentration, right? A concentration at some time T. Um, the K, that is your rate constant, just like it was before. And T is time. So you want to be careful that if your rate constant is in one over seconds, that your time is in seconds. So they're gonna they'll cancel when you multiply them. Or if k is in one over minutes, then your time should be in minutes. Those things should match. Otherwise, uh, when you you know multiply k times t, if they don't, if the units don't match, then they're not gonna cancel. And then this is your a sub zero. That's your initial concentration. Initial concentration. And the natural log, uh, that's just a button in your calculator. It's a function. It's an LN button. Um, so if you need help finding that, let me know, and uh, I'll, I'll show you where it is in class. All right, so um, this is also a linear equation, which means it's the equation of a line. So you have y equals mx plus b. So you could graph this if you wanted to, and you should get a straight line on your y-axis over here. You'd have the natural log of a. Um, and then over here, you're going to have time, and then you should get a straight line, and your slope is going to be negative k. Your slope is negative k. So that's a way that you can figure out what the rate constant is. All you have to do is, is measure the concentration at a bunch of different times, and then take the natural log of that concentration, and then when you plot that, you get a straight line. As long as you're following first order kinetics, right? If you're second order or zeroth order, you're not gonna get a straight line. But first order kinetics will give you a straight line if you plot the natural log of A versus time. So let's use this equation. Um, I'll put it up here again. Here we go, just write it down here. Natural log of A at some time equals negative K times T plus the natural log of A initial. Um, so we're going to read through this word problem and try to plug things in. There we go, natural log of A at some time. Um, this is T. This is time, not temperature, right? So there's no temperature dependence here. So they're going to mention the temperature in this problem. We don't need to use it. They're just telling you that the temperature is constant, which means the rate constant is constant. Um, if the temperature changes, then this problem gets a lot more difficult. So this is the equation we want to use. Um, and again, that ln is just a button in your calculator. Also be careful that you um, don't just multiply everything through here, <laughs> that you're gonna find this and then add it to this. All right, so let's read this problem. Decomposition of a certain insecticide in water at 12 degrees Celsius follows first order kinetics. All right, so first order means you're gonna use this equation. That's the first thing you wanna look for. Um, they give you a rate constant. Okay, so that's our K. We say K is 1.45 years to the negative one okay so it's like one over years that's fine um, a quantity of this insecticide washed into the lake on june 1st leading to a concentration of this so that's our initial concentration initially on june 1st we had 5.0 times 10 to the negative seven grams per centimeter cube so usually we see this in like molar <clears throat> You can have these funky units too, that's fine. Whatever you calculate, or whatever your, whatever units you're starting with your initial concentration, that's what you're gonna end up with, with your final concentration. Assume that the average temperature of the lake is 12 degrees Celsius. What's the concentration 
of the insecticide on June 1st the following year. So you're looking at trying to find A at some time, and the time that you're looking at is one year. Okay, so we have K, we have T, and we're checking our units. This is one over years, and that's years. That's great. And then we have our initial. So we have everything we need in order to solve for, um, at least we'll plug this in and we'll solve for the natural log of A at some time, and then I'll show you a little trick on how to solve for just the natural log, or just the A at some time. All right, so we have natural log of A at some time is equal to negative K, which is one point. 4, 5 years to the negative 1 in one year. So uh, they weren't really straightforward here on the year, right? They say it was washed in to the lake on June 1st, and then what is it a year later? June 1st, a year later. Um, and then natural log of A initial, which is 5.0 times 10 to the negative 7. All right, so in your calculator, you're going to natural log of 5.0 times 10 to the negative 7. Um, all right, let's work this out in baby steps. This is negative 1.45. Your units just canceled. Don't worry about your units over here for a second. The units will come up again when um, we're solving for this concentration. So when you do that in your calculator, the natural log of 5 times 10 to the negative 7, you should get negative 14.51. So when you add those together, you get negative 15.96, and that's the natural log of A at some time. So the opposite of a natural log, so how do you undo a natural log, is you use your E button. And you E to the natural log of A, it's just A. So they just kind of cancel. And whatever you do on one side, you want to do on the other. So you have E raised to the negative 15.96, and that should give you 1.2 times 10 to the negative 7. And now, since that's a concentration, you can go ahead and add your units. If you're having trouble finding your E button, it's usually the same button as your natural log button. Um, it's just now you have to do like second natural log will give you the E. Um, if you still don't know what it is, it's an exponential. Um, it's not the EE -E that you do, like EE -E meaning times 10. It's a different button. So if you're having trouble finding that one, um, you can send me an email and I will help you out. That's part A of this problem. Let's try part B. So how long will it take for this insecticide to decrease to this? So now they're giving you the A at some time. They're saying, all right, well, let's find the time. Find the time. How long will that take to get down to 3.0 times 10 to the negative 7? Uh, your initial is the same. So go back to your same initial conditions. Um, your A initial was what, 5.0 times 10 to the negative 7? They're funky units. All right, and K is still the same. K is still the 1.45. And we're still going to use this equation. The only thing that's, that's changing now is that now, in this first problem, they gave us the time and asked for the final concentration. Now they're giving us the final concentration and asking for the time. So I have ln of a at some time. So the, the a at time later is always going to be less than the initial. The initial should be more than, than the final because it's a reactant and it's decreasing over time. So if you're not sure what to put where, the smaller concentration is going to go on the left. So I have ln of a at some time is equal to negative k times t plus natural log of my initial concentration, which I already know from the first part. Right, we already did that calculation. So ln of five of three point oh times ten negative seven, that is negative fifteen point oh two, negative one point four five t. What the heck happened there? All right. T um plus uh negative fourteen point five one. Okay, so now I'm going to add 14.51 to both sides, which gives me negative 0.51 is negative 1.45 times the time, divided by negative 1.45, and the 
time I get is 0.35. And that's in years because my k was in 1 over years. My k was in 1 over years, so my time is going to be in years. Okay, so just to summarize here, um, in this first problem, they gave us... So what you should do when you're reading this, you make a list of all your variables, try to figure out what you're trying to find, plug it in, and then it's just math. 